Think about this. Baker Mayfield played so much better last year than Kirk Cousins did. Baker got $30 million to stay in Tampa. Kirk got $50 million a year to go to Atlanta. I don't condemn you, Falcons. I, I know you're desperate and you had to plunge, but while I offered congrats to Baltimore, I offer you my condolences. Think of what Baker did last year. He opened up by beating Kirk Cousins at Kirk Cousins. Week four, he went to New Orleans against their arch rival that Brady couldn't deal with. The Saints just had Brady's number, except in that one playoff game at New Orleans. And Baker did a number on New Orleans at New Orleans. It was 26 to 9. And he soon went to Atlanta, to Atlanta, division rival. Hit Kate Otten with a late clutch touchdown pass, 36 seconds left to pull that one out. Baker is remarkably clutch and does not get enough credit for it. He gets better the closer games are late. Remember at Lambeau last year? Just when you thought the Packers were taking off, Baker Mayfield played the first perfect passer rating game in the history of Lambeau Field at Lambeau. Playoff game against the Eagles, 337 yards passing. Playoff game at Detroit, 349 yards passing. I know they lost, but they hung in. Baker's stats last year were better across the board than Brady's final year in Tampa. I told you about Baker. I told you he'd be better than Sam Darnold. Now Minnesota is stuck with him. I realized Baker got beat up and couldn't connect with Odell for stretches in Cleveland. But, man, look at his rookie year. Look at the, the hot streak he went on to take them to a playoff win in Cleveland at Pittsburgh. And look at last year. Baker Mayfield can play. I took a lot of crap. How oh, he's a bust. No, he's busting out in Tampa. I just love his contagious fire and desire. I know he can be a little bit, I'll just use the word that I hear so often about him, a little bit of a dick, if you will. I know he can rub people the wrong way, he can get a little full of himself, but his teammates love him. They ignite around him in ways they don't ignite for Dak Prescott. Players love to play for and with Baker. Not so much with Dak. So really, James, the question you should ask me, did I secretly wish the Cowboys had signed Baker Mayfield to start over Dak? Yep, I'll admit it, I do. Right now, right here, next year, I would take Baker Mayfield over Dak Prescott. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.